through the seated pranayama, the labour breath. Make sure that your knees are lower than your hips, so your diaphragm's open. Relax the shoulders, draw the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Seal the hands in Yada Mudra, thumb and forefinger, resting palm down on the thighs. Take a few natural breaths in and out through the nostrils. Break the inhale into three parts. Inhale the third into the abdomen. Pause. Inhale the next third through the chest. Pause. Inhale the last third up towards the neck. Pause. Long, smooth exhale. And repeat the cycle. If you need to take a natural breath as a recovery breath in between the interrupted breath, then feel free. Inhale a third, pause. Inhale a third, pause. Inhale final third. Pause. Exhale, long smooth exhale. Emptying the breath. Inhale a third. Pause. Inhale a third. Pause. Inhale, last third. Pause. With the lungs fully expanded, exhale. Long, smooth exhale through the nose. Last third. Inhaling a third. Filling the abdomen. Inhaling up towards the heart. Pause. Inhale to the collarbone. Hold. Exhale. Long, smooth exhale. Just take a few rounds of natural breath there. Fingers spread underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Cat cow, inhale. Sternum lifts up, span the upper back, lift up the sit bones. Exhale round, making space in the upper back. Inhale, dip in the upper back. Exhale round, making space between the shoulder blades. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to flat back. Draw the hands onto the fingertips like little tents, keeping the hips over the knees. Walk the hands forward on those fingertips, drawing the heart towards the mat. High kneeling, inhale. Exhale, interlace the fingers. Open the shoulders and breathe. Inhale the hands up, stretching through the spine. Exhale, side bend to the right. Hold and breathe. Inhaling up. Exhaling, side bending to the left. Hold and breathe.
inhale, reaching up. Exhale to long child's pose. Take a pause. Bring the forehead down. The sit bones towards the heels. Completely relax the shoulders. Breathe into the upper back. to cat. Cat cow. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, flat back. Fingers onto fingertips, onto the little tents. Walk the hands forwards. Bring the heart towards the floor, mobilising the upper back. Walking the hands towards you. Inhale to high kneeling. Exhale, interlace the hands behind the back, open the heart, draw the shoulders together. Inhale, side bend to the right, breathing into the right foot. Inhale up, exhaling to the other side, breathing into the side dip. Inhale to lift, exhale to cat. We take thread the needle, threading the right hand underneath the left arm. Taking the left hand forward onto fingertips. Round the left hand. Back feet to cat, switch sides, left arm underneath right. Right hand comes forward on those fingertips. Ground the right hand to come back through to cat. Last round. Inhale. Tilting. Exhale, rounded. Inhale, tilting. Exhale, rounded. Inhale, flat back. Fingertips walk forward to Anahatasana, heart opening way. Walk the hands back, come up to 
time needed. Inhale. Exhale. Interlacing the hands behind the back. Open the shoulders. Inhaling, excess side bend to the right, breathing into the side ribs, inhaling, lengthening, exhale, side bend to the left, breathing into the side ribs. Bring the hands down. Either come through to child's pose or to hair pose, Shashankasana. We did child's pose on the first round. Shashankasana is like so. Coming through to Sphinx, lying on the tummy. If Sphinx is niggly for your back, take the feet wider, take the arms wider and further forwards. Forearms parallel. Unless you're taking your arms further forward, then elbows are underneath shoulders, pushing the ground away. Lengthening through the tailbone, some engagement in the abs. Draw the back of the neck long and forward. We'll take some neck rolls. Roll the gaze over the right shoulder. Slowly drop the head forwards. Roll the gaze over the left shoulder. Slowly roll forwards. Over the right shoulder. Forwards. Let the head hang. Last time. Over the left shoulder. Let the head hang. Forwards. Bringing the back of the neck long. Head in line with the spine. Tuck the toes under. Inhale. Exhale. Forearm plank. Hold and breathe. Exhale to sit. Arms and legs forward. Lifting right arm, left leg. Diagonal cross lateral work. Exhale, switch. Inhale, left arm, right leg up. Exhale. One more each side. Exhale, last side, left arm, right leg. Exhale, jack the hands, rest the forehead. Shimmy out the hips. alongside the body, palm up, lifting up the chest and the legs, lengthening the tailbone, stretch the balls of the feet away. Keep breathing. Relax down, turning the gaze to the right. Straightening up the neck to lift up again. Release down to the floor, 
turning your gaze to the left. Slowly unwind the neck, bring the hands up and the shoulders, coming up to cat. Tuck the toes under, take an inhale, spread the fingers, keep feet hip width apart, exhaling down dog. Walking out the feet. right foot to the outside of the right hand, walking the left heel back, sort of a lizard stretch, bending into the elbows. Some of you may bring your left elbow down, some of you may bring both elbows down. Yogi's choice. meet with the palms on the floor, tuck the back toes under, lift up the back knee, turning to a twist to your right. Exhale, bring the back knee down, slide the front heel forwards, Bringing the hands onto those fingertips, little hamstring stretch, hip stays over the back knee. Lengthen through the spine with the back muscles being active. Breathe into the stretch. Ground the hands, step to down dog. Bring the knees down. Bring the left hand to the outside, left foot to the outside of the left hand. Walk the back knee back until you feel a stretch through the front of the right hip. You can bend into the elbows to feel a stretch through the inner left thigh, inner left hip. If you want to go further, you can bring the right forearm down and possibly the left one. Under, lift up the back knee, turning to your left for a twist, breathing into the upper back, broadening through the upper back. Bringing that hand down, walking the left heel forwards, a hamstring stretch, bringing the fingers onto fingertips. Lengthen through the spine, relax the shoulders, keep the back muscles active. Down dog. Breathe. 
breathing down the arm. Walk the hands forwards. Take a few moments to lengthen the spine. Gently rolling up to stand. Coming to the top of the mat. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, plank. Breathe in plank. on to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, peel down. Inhale, cobra, shoulders back. Exhale, down dog. Breathing down dog. Broaden the upper back. Three-legged dog, right leg lift. Step the right foot between the hands, back foot 45 degrees, warrior one. Interlacing <coughs> the hands behind the back, heart opening warrior. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale. Pajbhutanasana, pyramid pose. Flat back. Using the back muscles to keep the back in a straight line. Inhale. Grounding the back foot. Exhale, Pajbhutanasana. Strength through the back. Inhale. Warrior one. Exhale, Pajvakanasana, holding, bringing the tender fingertip towards the floor, strong through the legs, lengthening through the spine, breathing here, if the floor is a long way away, option to bring a couple of books under each hand, or yoga bricks if you have them. Make sure the hips are square, you haven't got the right hip skewing forwards. Step forwards, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, drop the bottom down. Inhale to chair. Inhale, exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, flat back. Exhaling to plank. Holding plank. Buoyance between the shoulder blades. We come to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Breathing down. Left leg lift, three legged dog. Stepping the left foot between the hands, right foot 45 degrees, inhale, warrior one. Exhale. 
Exhale, interlace the hands behind the back. And breathe in heart opening warrior. Inhale, Warrior One. Exhale, Pyramid, Parshvottanasana. Inhale, Warrior One. Exhale, Parshvottanasana. Inhale. Exhale, Flat Back and Hold. Back muscles and the abs working to keep the spine straight and long. Making sure the shoulders don't crack. And here we bring the tented fingertips down. You might need to take a little bend in the front knee. And breathe into the pose, keeping the hips square. Avoid that front hip coming forward. So you want to keep the hips nice and level with each other. Space in the hip joint. Keep the back foot rooted down. Forward, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, sink the bottom down. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale. Inhale to rise. Exhale, Tadasana. Take eagle pose as our balance, Gadodasana. Spread the toes of the right foot, bring your consciousness and your weight into your right foot. Left leg crosses over, you can keep the toes on the mat there, keep the thighs squeezed together. Option to wrap that top leg around. You take the left arm out, right arm on top. Either bring the hands onto opposite shoulders, backs the hands together. We'll bring the palms together. Take the elbows away from you and forwards. Make space in the upper back. And slowly release. Take a moment in Tadasana. Bring the weight into the left foot, spread the toes, take your time to find your foundation. The right leg crosses over, thighs together for stability, knees bent. Either keep the toes on the mat or wrap that top leg around. Right leg, right arm comes out, left arm crosses high up. Either hug the shoulders, drawing the shoulder blades away from each other backs the hands together, or palms together. Breathe into the space in the upper back. Steady your breath, steady your gaze. forwards and come to sit on the mat, cross the legs underneath you. Straighten out the legs. Taking a bend in the right knee, crossing that leg over, sitting tall. Taking an inhale, lifting up the left arm, 
and hugging in that right knee. Or some of you may take the elbow across. Breathe into the twist, expanding on the inhale, going deeper on the exhale. I'm twisting the body. That leg that's crossed over can just come to rest in a figure four shape. Keep the foot flexed, give that ankle just over the top of the thigh. We bend into the left leg, we're coming into seated pigeon. So work that foot towards the bottom until you feel a stretch in the outer right thigh. Keep the neck and the back nice and long. Breathe into that stretch for the outer butt. Walk ourselves back, straighten out the bottom leg, bring the sole of the right foot into the left thigh, taking hold of the left ankle with the left hand. We just take some dynamic movements here rather than taking a static hold straight away. Sweeping forwards opening up, making space in the upper back, moving with the breath. We'll now come to hold again with those tented fingertips, making space in the upper back rather than folding too deeply. Outstretched leg is active. Hands up, straighten both legs, bring the tented hands either side of the hip to sit tall in Dandasana Star Pose. We'll now bend into the left leg, cross that over, outstretched leg, the right leg is active. Inhale, lifting up the right arm, hugging in that top knee to twist. Some of you may take that deeper by taking the elbow across. Inhale to expand, exhale, deepen. Heel twist. That left leg that's crossed over, just bring that with flexed foot on top of the opposite thigh. We come through to seated pigeon. Draw that right heel towards the bottom, draw the chest forwards. Breathe into the stretch. Straighten out the bottom leg. Allow the sole of the left foot to come in towards the thigh. Take hold of the right shin or ankle. Take the right hand. Sweep forwards. Exhale. Inhale. Open. Exhale. Forwards. Inhale to open. Exhale. Forwards. Easing ourselves into Yamashita. Here we'll bring the tented fingertips forwards to create length through and 
the space of the spine, breathing into our forward fold. Just focus on space in the upper back. And length through the spine. the hands up, straighten the legs, fingertips alongside the hips into staff pose with a bend in the knees if you need to release the back and keep it nice and straight. Our restorative pose is Yamishi Sasana, the same pose. It will feel very different. nice high stack of blankets and cushions. Start off with the right knee bent. You want to be able to completely relax here, so maybe one or even two cushions underneath that knee so the hip can relax, the leg can relax. I'll turn sideways so you get a better view. We then take a stack Useful to have a belt as well, I'll grab a belt. Take a stack of cushions, this is going to be where your chest and spine extend to. You can be completely comfortable and supported here. Taking a nice high stack, so I'm not straining. We can loop the belt around the outstretched foot. Sit nice and tall, inhale. Exhale, just use the belt to help lengthen through the spine, draw the chest forwards. And then we come to rest on our stack. gentle tension here rather than any force just to keep length through the spine. Turning the gaze towards the bent knee. Completely relax the shoulders and the neck. Feel free to put the video on pause, stay up to about five minutes there. Switch sides. This time we support the left knee. Bring the stack of cushions onto the straight leg. Looping the belt around the right foot. Sit nice and tall, left through the spine. Bent leg nice and relaxed there with the hip open. Work yourself forwards. Once you've got lovely length through your spine, you can relax with the head turned towards the bent knee.
unfortunately releasing it stayed all day. And from the flare, make your way to Shavasana, maybe with pillow underneath the head. Ideally, stay in Shavasana for at least two minutes, five minutes is even better, even longer. It's fantastic for your nervous system. Feet hips width apart, arms with the shoulder blades tucked underneath you. So open the palms, arms out about 45 degrees. Chin slightly lower than the forehead, hence the need for maybe a prop for some of you. And completely let go. I'll leave you there in Shavasana. See you next time.